What's going on, everybody? I uh, recently finished my first playthrough of Echoes of Wisdom, and yes, I thought it was freaking awesome. You get to play Zelda for the first time, which is probably the best and the worst part of the game, because you get to play Zelda, but I really missed playing as Link, but you do get to play as Link, so I can't complain too much. But I was a really big fan of the creativity of the game and all the different ways you can solve puzzles. Yeah, overall, it was so much fun. Now that I've finished the game, I really wanted to do a tier list of all the different Echoes. There's 127 echoes which is insane i made a never use category because honestly there's probably like five between five and ten echoes that i would just like kind of cycle through and use all the time and a lot that i never even tried i am not going to remember the names of a lot of these so bear with me i'll do my best to remember the names but there's a lot to remember <laughs> so all right let's get started shall we starting off we have the table i'm going to put that immediately into a tier I used the crap out of this thing um, like all throughout the game even though there was a lot of things that I came across that were better I was just comfortable with it because you kind of start off with it so we'll put the table in a bed or I should say old bed I think is what it's actually called I'm gonna put that straight up into s for now I'll probably move it down once we get you know through the other echoes I actually streamed this game on YouTube and Twitch and people were making fun of me for how much I actually used the bed, but it was just so easy and comfortable, kind of like the table for me. So yeah, let's do that. This bed, the next bed, I didn't use really much at all. Really, I used it for healing, but that's about it. I'll put it in A tier though. Now we have this bed. This bed is good for healing. I think it's like your like Zelda's actual bed. But I didn't use it to platform as much as the old bed just because it costs less to use more of them. But I'll still put it in S tier just for now. Again, I might change it a little bit. But so far, all these items I used quite a bit. The shrub, I don't think I used the shrub even once. Maybe like for like one of the first puzzles. But I definitely used it like right at the beginning. But I'll put it in D just because it served no purpose to me. Uh, the crate or the box. I don't know what they call it. The box. Let's go ahead and put that. Let's put that in B tier. It was good for a lot of puzzles, but I ended up using different items probably in place of it down the road. So let's put that in B tier. Okay, we have all these pots here. Um, they all serve the same purpose, except for maybe... Do they serve different purposes? I actually don't know. I use the pots like maybe once for one of the puzzles where you need to like sneak around the guards. Um, I didn't even know you could hop into a pot <laughs> for the longest time. So that was actually really funny, but... Uh, let's put those in D tier just because I never used them. And yeah, they didn't serve any purpose. Uh, the stone or the boulder. Let's put that... Let's put that in B tier just for now. I used it for a lot of puzzles for like weighing down platforms to get from one area to another. Um, that one was pretty good. I liked it. The stone, I'll put in C. Uh, early game, I used it a lot to like throw at enemies. So that was helpful, but I quickly moved past that. Uh, what is this? Like the stone platform thing. Is this the one that you put on lava to jump across? Didn't use it too often. It was really good in like the Elden or the Goron dungeon, whatever you call it. Um, it helped, but not enough to really uh, put it up any further in the list. Is this ice block? I don't think I ever used the ice block, actually. Yeah, I never used that. Snowball. I'm going to put that in B tier. It was very useful for me uh, for killing the, um, the freezers. Like you can like jump up onto a platform or up onto an ice block like the ones that were already there for you and just like spam the snowball at the freezers and it would kill them over time those things are strong man they had a really high defense um but the snowball i used quite a bit i'll put that in b for now the sign i never used i know i saw recently that you can uh use it for some glitches which is really cool uh the fish was used for a side quest or like maybe two like mini mini quests um yeah never used the meat i know people use that for glitches but i never used it um this sucked for the most part i think it was just for like a goron side quest but uh yeah that's definitely d tier kind of the same thing with the teddy bear um i only used it because i had to for a puzzle the carrot i i rode epona around for maybe all of five minutes not including the, the mini game but yeah i, I never used the carrot uh, this is S tier, the water block. So good for um, like platforming up or just using it to get up to a higher area and like kind of bridging over to other areas. This is going above bed actually. I think I use that more than the bed actually. I think, but either way, uh, water block is like definitely one of the better ones. Let's do, oh, these statues. These statues you only use for dungeons, right? 
or one there's one temple they use the statues for and then i think you could use them in the boss fight uh yeah these were kind of just meh not very useful other than for that one purpose uh same with same with the orb it was good for that one thing you never use it any other time trampoline i'm gonna put in a tier i'll put it above the table Trampoline was really good early game and other parts, but I would spam the crap out of this to get up on the platforms. I don't know what I'm going to call this. The Guster? Let's call this the Guster. I don't remember what it's called. Um, I'm going to put this in B tier. I used it quite a bit uh, to like extinguish flames, and that's about it, but I used it a lot. It was very useful to me, so I'm going to put that there. The Tile. The Flying Tile. I'm going to put that in B tier because that is a very good item that uh, the chat in my stream kept telling me to use because you can like, if you hop on top of it, it'll like, it'll like, it'll go a pretty long distance as long as you don't run into anything. Um, but I didn't use it as much as everyone wanted me to, but I know it's a good item, so I'll put it at B. The clouds, A tier. Unfortunately, like they disappear after a while, but they're really good for platforming. You can go really high and really far with these things as long as you're fast. Uh, the clouds are really good for like probably the last quarter of the game. Never used this thing. Uh, what is this? The beetle nest? Never used it. I don't know what that is. Uh, the torch. The torches were okay. They were good for like the the uh, the frozen area or like Hebra area. I'll put that in C because I use those quite a bit. Uh, these are trash. Uh, actually, okay. So. The regular, what are these called, Zoles? That guy was trash. Actually, I never even used him. The fire one, that's definitely going in A tier. I, I mean, that's what I used to. That's what you used to light things on fire. That's my. That was my main fire source right there. So that's definitely going up into A. I'm gonna put it actually into the trampoline. Okay. Come on now. Whatever. Okay, we got it. Uh, never used this one. Never used this one. Um, I used. Uh, so what are these? The moblins, the spear moblin. So this spear moblin, I never used. But this one I used all the time um, just because uh, it was really good for keys that would approach you or like, you know, they were flying around all crazy. These guys actually had really good accuracy when it came to keys and I used it quite a bit. So I'm going to put this guy, I'll put him in B tier for now, but I might move him up. We'll see. This dude I never used. Uh, the level two Moblin was pretty good. Um... I'll put him in C though. This dude, the level three Moblin, so good. Um, I'll put him up in A tier. I didn't use him too much, but he's like really strong. Put him up there for now. I don't know, nope, never use that dude. I think I used this dude once. I'll put him in C. Dudes with the boomerangs, never used. I did use the level two one a couple of times. He was pretty good. Okay, Lionel, I think we all know the answer to that. Come on. Uh, S tier, Lionel, I don't even need, uh, there's no explanation required for that one. Just so good, so strong, so powerful. Um, it was actually funny when I was doing the quest to find the Lionel, you know how you like put all the orbs on the things? Um, I used like the, the orb echo. And then by the time I got to the Lionel, I was like, oh crap, I don't have any echoes because I used them all for the orbs. But luckily I had Link and Link saved the day and I could just spam Link attacks to kill him. But uh, Lionel I used until the end of the game, uh, the, the whole last, like, quarter of the game, the Lionel basically won the game for me, so, S tier for sure. I probably used Lizalfos a time or two, I'll just put these guys here. Um, the level 3 Lizalfos was my boy, um, up until I got the Lionel. Um, I'm gonna put him right, actually I'm gonna put him after the water block. Um, I used these guys a lot, the Dark Nuts. But the level three, I think I'm saying this right, but the level three dark nut, is that what it's called? I used probably the most, actually, I was, I said I was using the level three of the Zolfos, but I was actually using the dark nut more. Because he has his like spin attack, and because of his armor, it's really hard to break him down, and he sticks around for a long time. Uh, so yeah, the dark nut level three is the the goat pretty much what is this the uh armos armos i only used for a puzzle so i'm gonna put him in d what is this guy is this the ball and chain i'm gonna call him ball and chain daddy ball and chain daddy i heard is a really good echo to use but i never used him not once um so never used uh, some people might agree disagree with me on that but uh that's just the way it is uh never used the gibdos Never used the re-dead. Wizrobes. I only used this one. And he got me through some shit. 
So I'm going to put him in A. Never use these guys. Never use the rope. Um, I used this guy once. The frogs that make it rain. Um, I use them for a puzzle, but I'll put him in D because I didn't use them very often. Didn't really help me out. Well, I'll put him up in C because he had to make it rain and for a couple of puzzles that actually got me through. So we'll put him in C because that's actually a pretty cool echo. Um, just not very useful to me in the long run. Never use these dudes, these torch slugs. Uh, the mole. The mole I'm going to put up in B because... Um, in order to collect um, a lot of the, the mite crystals, uh, he was very useful. He's kind of like the shovel, you know? Wolfos, I liked, but I liked the white Wolfos even more because after a while, he'll spawn two more Wolfos. Um, and that was very helpful in some fights. Actually, I want to put him up in B. Yeah. Okay, Keys. I didn't use these two, but I used the fire one to help me light some sh Put him up in B. So in order to kill Wizrobes, uh, my way of doing it was to spawn like five keys at once and they actually helped me a lot. So I'll put them up closer um, Up here in B actually let's put him before the mole. Yeah, that looks good Mothulas, I think I used once I'll just put it. I just didn't you you know Like I'm kind of doing the list based on like how often I use them and how well they helped me in my journey They didn't really do much for me. Um, didn't use this dude I didn't do any of the bird glitches. I didn't use these birds once, not one time. I didn't use the Octor. Well, actually, I lied. I used the Octorok uh, actually quite a bit, um, and it helped me for you know some projectile kind of battle. So that was probably good. Didn't use these ones. People are probably gonna look at this list and be like, "Dude, you're crazy <laughs> for not using all of these." But there's so many to use, and you can like play the game in so many different ways. You know. Depending, you know, depending on your level of creativity and whatnot, you know. Um, these guys I spam the crap out. Are these spines? Is that what they're called? I would spam the crap out of these dudes. I'm going to put them up in... Uh, let's do... Let's put it, like, right here. I, I, I would spam them in front of me. Um, especially for, like, uh, first going to, like, the Jabul Waters area. Um, like, the fish that were underground. Like, I would just, like, spam and they would sink to the bottom and like kill things. So those things were awesome. Never used this dude. Um, I used this like maybe once, but that can just go there. Nope, nope. Okay, what is this one called? I need the name of this one. The bomby fish guy, the bomby fish man. Where the frick? Bomb fish, that's what it's called, the bomb fish. Bomb fish, that is going up in S tier for sure. I used the crap out of these. I think a lot of people did for bombing walls and bombing just anything you need to bomb. Bombfish were freaking dope. I use these all the times, especially for, or, or like bombing crates, anything that was in the way. Those are great. The shark was my favorite underwater enemy by far. That's going to go up in S tier for sure. Didn't use, didn't use, didn't use any of the Babas at all. Um, all right, P hat. P hat, I probably used actually, I keep, I, I keep saying, I've used this enemy the most. I used this enemy the most. I probably used the P-Hat the most. It was the most versatile uh, for me as far as... Because I was able to spawn three of them by the end of the game. They fly around like all different levels. You can also like hold on to them and fly around. Um, and they are just like really powerful and helped me out a lot. So I'm going to put that up. Actually, probably ahead of the Dark Nut to be honest. P-Hat was phenomenal i loved it um i never used the flower the poison flower never used these dudes never used the hamburger worm um okay where what are the differences is this the the strantula i think the yellow one is the strantula i use that one all the time let's put it let's put it up in b let's put it actually like right there actually that that's going up there um in a it was so good uh, for like the side scroll puzzles and like getting up to different areas then and you could use the strantula yeah it, it was just very helpful and then the the uh, the crawl chula um i didn't use as much as i wish i did uh because like apparently you can like climb hebra really fast using it um but i'll put it up in a just because i know it's a good item and i did use it but not as much as i should have but i respect it baby goma never used Beetle never used. Never used you. Never used any of the Tektites. Didn't use this dude. Didn't use a Poe. I don't know what these eyeball things are. I didn't get it till like pretty much the very end of the game. 
but they're cool enemies. I'll give them that. Uh, didn't use this dude. I didn't use any of the booze. What is this? The lever? Never used it. <laughs> um, I don't remember what this is called. The saw blade or something. Um, pretty good. Um, I'll put it up in C just because um, I remember it being useful for a period of time. But I never really went back to it too often. Um, didn't use this. Didn't use the freezer. As powerful as I knew they were, I had more powerful things by the time I got the echo. Um, okay, the uh, what are these called? The, they're like the small, the baby taluses. Um, I use them quite a bit just to fight other taluses. And it was really funny watching them fight. So I'll put it up in C. But I didn't use this one. Didn't use this guy. Use this for a couple puzzles, but kind of trash. All right, the plat boom. The plat boom I used all the time. That is going all the way up. All the way up to... Should I just put it here? Because I ended up using that more than the bed. I came across the plat boom like super early in the game, like Gerudo area. But I didn't realize I could use it as an echo. And then my someone in my chat was like, you gotta get a plat boom. Found it like last third of the game and that's pretty much all i used uh as far as like platforming and getting up to areas that were hard to get up to plat boom such a good echo such good echo highly recommend the plat boom um and then this thing i never used so uh all right let's see if we can move things around a little bit i don't really feel that i need to though i mean lionel it's just s tier you know it's just that it's just the number one. That was the best. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this, actually. There's a lot that are trash and there's a lot that I just never look how many I didn't use. I probably didn't use almost half of the echoes. So next playthrough, I'm definitely going to try to uh, do my best to, to use a lot of the ones I didn't use and just kind of see see how they work, because like you can see them performing and acting before you get them as an echo and you're like you can kind of already tell like I, i'm not gonna use i'm gonna use this thing over that thing you know what i mean so so yeah there's the list there's probably a lot that people disagree or agree with me on let me know in the comments which echoes that i never used that you may have used the most because i'm curious to see how different people have used the different echoes i'm excited to play the game again and give these other ones a shot for sure because once i had the ones i liked i knew how to use well then i just kind of stuck with them um, but I'm really curious to see how people have utilized the other ones and let me know uh, which ones you agree and disagree with me on in the comments because I'm really curious to see what y'all think about this list. Yeah, anyway, have a great day y'all. Thanks for being here. Uh, subscribe if you want, like the video, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day.